All right, it's been a week since I planted these loofahs in the ground, and I'm pretty impressed with the growth. I think these guys are averaging about uh, close to three inches of growth every single day. And this guy, yesterday morning, it was just slightly above this nodule, so it was right around here. Looks like today it grew about four inches. And one thing that's surprising is even after a week of growth, it's actually producing a fruit. I'm not sure how hard it is to see, but yeah, right next to that tendril, that's a fruit. It's pretty impressive. And yesterday, it already put out a flower, which already dropped. It's got these flower stalks right here. And yeah, it's uh, planted pretty close to the surface, which uh, I did it on purpose because uh, it sometimes rains really hard and gets a little bit flooded here in Hawaii. But yeah, it's because it's in Hawaii and these guys really love the heat. And this guy too also has a little loofah here. It's probably really tough to see, but yeah, it's in there, that right on top. So these guys are a total of around four weeks in age and it's already almost halfway up for the taller one to the top of the trellis so give it another week and it will probably get there. But I used a broad fork and I really loosened all the soil all throughout this place. But moving on to the other one. This one's about a week or two behind the others. And it's just barely starting to send out its little stalk, but it's a little bit more yellowish because I didn't really fertilize or do anything. I just planted it and uh, I just wanted to see how it would grow. And here's the watermelons. Looks like these guys are getting a little bit of competition from the grass since they're uh, planted in these little clumps of grass. But I'll probably pull that off later and uh, see if I can add a little bit of fertilizer for these guys. But it's still looking alright. Here's my fuzzy gourds, and it looks like when I planted them a week ago, they're just developing the first two leaves for right now. Looks like both of these guys are working on the second or third true leaf. But it's going to be another week or two, maybe two weeks before they actually start climbing. Here are the cucumbers. They're, both all, they're also about the same level, so... Probably gonna have a few of them go on the ground, one of them get up onto the fence, so I'll probably need one of these little sticks so they can climb. And here's my bitter melon. And it looks like it's trying to develop a whole ton of uh, side branches again, so. I'll probably have to pull off some of them and get, uh, get some type of uh, bamboo or string to give this guy something to climb. It's already starting to make flowers. And one interesting development is with my cantaloupes. This one closest to me right now, I actually put a bunch of shrimp shells, egg shells, and a bunch of kitchen wastes right underneath it, why I didn't do it with all the other ones. And when I planted them, they were all about the same size, but right now this guy is maybe close to 10 times the size of all the rest, so 
Either this guy has really good genetics or it's making a difference. With all the rest of them, I just put a bunch of compost to support the base. But yeah, this guy's a monster. Uh, struggling a little bit so I'll probably have to give it a little bit of fertilizer or something to help it catch back up. Here's my spare cucumbers, fuzzy gourds and watermelons which I'll probably plant out backwards. But, oh yeah and here's some spare watermelons which uh, since the other one's doing well, I might not really do anything with these guys.